Hey guys, that's Tim Gamer here. We're here recording another video, and this time I'll be talking to you about, in my opinion, the top 10 best PlayStation 3 games or games of 2012. Um, if you like what you if you like what you guys see, please like, com comment, like, and subscribe this video. It would definitely help improve my channel. I'm trying to get my views out there and trying to spread the word of people who are very passionate about video games in general. So let's get on to the video and. Um, at number 10 is XCOM Enemy Unknown. Fantastic strat strategy game. Um, a lot of people were kind of were, were kind of worried about the about that game because it didn't seem to fit like from the original. But XCOM Enemy Unknown is a great strategic game, and you don't see a lot of them anymore. And um, it's a great, great, great game. Um, very challenging if you if you guys like challenging tactical squad shooters that required um, tactics of figuring out where you're gonna hide, where you're gonna put your your squads and hide them, and make sure you you know you conquer each each planet like China and like United States and um, Japan or Australia, or whatever. But XCOM Enemy Unknown is a fantastic strategic game. I'm gonna try to get my hands on that. Um, the the original XCOM was a masterpiece, and I thought that game was pretty damn cool. So that is number ten. And over at number 9, we got Mass Effect 3. Now, the only reason why I put it at number 9 is because of one thing, the ending. Mass Effect 3 has become a huge controversial because a lot of people, a lot of the fans of the of Mass Effect 1 and 2 were extremely disappointed, extremely aggravated for the ending of how Mass Effect 3 ended. And I completely understand that a lot of fans were very, very aggravated about the ending for Mass Effect 3. Personally, I don't see a problem in the game. Usually, I don't like to criticize different different endings for video games in general. But with Mass Effect 3, it's a great game. Very, very good voice acting. Great soundtrack. Great atmosphere. And overall, it's definitely worth checking out. And now they, just, they recently released the Mass Effect trilogy. So now you can finally play uh Mass Effect if you haven't played the original Mass Effect now's your chance to get the Mass Effect trilogy. So Mass Effect 3 is at number 9. Number 8 would be The Darkness 2. It is the sequel to the original Darkness. Uh Dark Dark The Darkness 2 has has better weapon better weapons, better story. Uh voice acting is somewhat par. Um I don't really I'm not I'm not a big person when it comes to voice acting, but I do enjoy I do enjoy it once in a while, but uh, Darkness Two graphics are are pretty are pretty are pretty decent from what I've from what I've understand from what I understood, and uh, it's a it's a pretty good game. It's cheap now for for the consoles and PCs like twenty bucks or so. So now's your chance to get that. So that is number eight. At number seven, we got Lollipop Chainsaw. Now this game is, has been developed by Warner Brothers. And Lollipop Chainsaw is actually a pretty good game if you like action action uh, action games that involve slaying zombies and a lot of 80s influenced music in the game. You probably like Lollipop Chainsaw, and Juliet is one gorgeous character. And Tara Strong voices Juliet, who and she also is responsible for voicing Harley Quinn in Batman: Arkham Asylum. And, Arkham City, and she also voiced Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents, and she's done a lot of stuff. She also voiced Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, so that is a good bonus. So that is Lollipop Chainsaw. Number six is Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, a great RPG RPG game. Unfortunately, the company who made it have got shut down. A lot of a lot of the employees were laid off with the game, and I thought. Um, Kings of Amalur Reckoning was a, a pretty good action RPG game. It's not like Diablo 3 or it's like or Torchlight 2 or 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 whatever. It's a different it's a different game. It's like if World of Warcraft had a had a had a child with uh say, oh sorry, if if World of Warcraft and Fable had a child, then it would be Kings of Amalur Reckoning. It is a beautiful game. Graphics are are simply outstanding, and I think it is worth checking out your time. 
Over at number five, it is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Now, the only reason why I'm, I'm putting it at number five is because a lot of people were truly disappointed with that game. One is because the, the servers were laggy. It didn't stay true to the Resident Evil series. It was more of a squad-based shooter, kind of like Spec Ops The Line and Gears of War. But it falls up between Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, and some of you may or may not know, but I am a huge Resident Evil fan. It's, it's one of my most beloved childhood childhood franchises of all of all time and I think that Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City deserves a lot of credit and as of last year they sold over 3 million copies which I'm kind of surprised because uh, Slant 6 developed the game uh, was the, the publisher of the game and Capcom you know is responsible for Resident Evil, Onimusha, Bionic Commando, Mega Man, Street Fighter blah 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 so that is number 5 over at number 4 is Far Cry 3 beautiful open world first person shooter is much imp better improvement from Far Cry 2 and Far Cry 3 there's a whole there's a whole lot of shit things you can do. You can do different side quests. You can ride zip lines. You can ride jet skis. You can ride jeeps. It's a massive, massive world for so much to explore. You can do pretty much anything you want. You get to kill sharks. You get to kill wolves. You get to kill pretty much anything that you want. It's a beautiful environmental game. If you guys like big open world shooters, kind of like Crisis and Battlefield, definitely get Far Cry 3 because I thought Far Cry 3 was probably the best one out of the original and the first one so that is definitely number four uh, coming in at number three is Dishonored Dishonored is a fucking awesome game it is the publishers by Bethesda and Arcane Studios to be, to be honest with you guys I think Dishonored is probably one of the best stealth games that I've ever played and it's kind of like Thief gameplay is kind of is kind of a resemblance to a uh, little bit of Bioshock and then a little bit of Deus Ex and Revolution. It kind of has that steampunk atmospheric feel to it. But Dishonored definitely deserves a lot of attention. I know it got I know it got an awards for best PlayStation 3 game at the VGAs last year, and so that is pretty pretty spectacular for them. Um, I think it's a really really good game. So that is going to be my number three coming in at number two is resident evil six i would put it as number one but i put it as number two so number two is resident evil six when i first saw the trailer for resident evil six i thought to myself you know it's you know i, I was kind of a little bit worried because resident evil six is not survival horror anymore it's more survival action which i completely understand because capcom is trying to experiment with the game and the franchise and i hope the no the next resident evil will feature um Returning characters like Claire Redfield, Joe Valentine, Carlos, Barry Burton, Rebecca Chambers, or even Billy Friends Evil Zero. But Resident Evil 6, there's a lot of controversy about that game. The game was say it was too dark. You know, it was it was like the production was pretty poor. Some of the vo the voice acting guys is some of the best I've ever heard in a video game. And Resident Evil 6 does definitely deserves a lot of attention. And Resident Evil 6 is also my game of the year for 2012, so that's why I'm putting number two in this countdown. And finally, guys, at number one, you guys may kind of be maybe. Pretty shocked, may not, but number one is Assassin's Creed 3. Holy shit, when I first saw the trailer for that game, I thought to myself, Ubisoft is going to do something incredibly stunning with, with, with the game. Assassin's Creed 3, I'm a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed series. It is currently my favorite video game series of this generation. And Assassin's Creed 3, you get to do so many things out there. You get to explore, you get to kill and loot animals, um... The the control the controls are very good, voice acting is great, the graphics in Assassin's Creed Three is is absolutely beautiful. But my from what I under from what I understand in the forums, a lot of people were disappointed in the ending with Assassin's Creed Three, and the story is pretty damn short. It's shorter from the other Assassin's Creed games, and I think Assassin's Creed Three definitely should have been the contender for a game of the year, but it lost to The Walking Dead. Um, I'm a, I'm 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 I haven't I never watched the show so don't so I'm not watching the show but I played the game by Telltale Games and it's a pretty damn good game so Assassin's Creed Three is definitely the top game for 2012 and then if I had to add another one you guys I'm gonna add Tekken Tag Tournament Two some of you may or may not already know but I'm a huge Tekken fan I've been a fan since the very beginning I played all of them I've seen the the live movie and that really sucked I haven't seen Blood Vengeance yet. So I'm hoping to get my hands on the copy as much as I, as much as you can. So anyway, you guys, that is my top, uh, actually my top 11 video games as of 2012. I'll be doing another video for 2011 whenever I can. Sorry, I haven't been um, keeping up with YouTube lately. Again, if you watch.
My birthday's coming up pretty soon. I'm going to be 23 in two weeks, so that's pretty exciting. Hopefully I get new games coming up this season. I will do unboxings whenever I can for games that I've been anticipated for. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It would definitely help my channel. And and leave, leave, and leave, your, leave your top 10, top 11 video games for 2012. I would love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are. And as always, guys, I'm the Ultimate Gamer. Keep gaming alive, and as always, do whatever you want to do.